Uh, these are the outdoor light up sitting characters. Uh, we've got the cutest little penguin. We've got a polar, oh no, the, the polar bear is gone. Okay, so I've got a white Santa, I've got a snowman, and I've got a reindeer. And then I have, I checked, yeah, three other styles have already sold out. Kringle Express, again, is our own proprietary brand here at QVC and QVC2. You won't find them elsewhere. They were designed for you and you alone. They are hand-painted poly resin display pieces that usually tend to be a little bit bigger and a lot more detailed. So when we take a look at our Santa sitting on the top of the, the chimney, just even the detail work of the brick work is perfect. But you'll notice all the, the fluff that looks almost like cotton wadding around his, his red suit. The detail work on that is infinitely deeper. And then everything is hand painted. And I think that's a nice touch. And then you add one more element to it, he lights up. So those jewels that you see on his cap, his belt buckle, his boots, all of those light up. That's 40% off of our regular pricing. Now I have the Santa Claus out here with me, but we'll see which one Michelle has chosen to pick for her display. Oh, you've got a couple. Yay! I do. I, I have that Santa, which I absolutely love. I also have the snowman, and I know we have a reindeer too. So I know neither of us has that, but that's definitely on QVC.com. But these are so cute, and I think they're the perfect size. I love that each one of these is sitting on something. That snowman is sitting on a really intricately detailed snowball. And Santa, I think, is a little large for his chimney. Um, but I think <laughs> yes. it makes a really, a really cute seat, that's for sure. But it is all about details here. And Kringle Express, is, as you were talking with Jordan earlier, is a, a brand that's only here at QVC. I love that. Um, but these are made out of resin, Dan, and as you know, you can use them outside. And by using that medium, we can achieve all kinds of great details on here. And I have to say, you know, I was looking at the Santa earlier. A friend of mine, a friend of mine from my childhood is now a Santa Claus during the season. And he just posted oh. something about um, details of his costume and how someone made it for him. And it made me really appreciate the details on these even more. I just love the way you see the little folds in there, the little Sherpa lining around the edges. You see kind of little um, crinkles and wrinkles in his uniform. Yeah. And, and you know, his face, that beard, I mean, it's the most beautiful beard I think I've ever seen. Really nice metallic paints, hand painted. Each one of these has hand painting details on them. They all light up and there's a six hour timer on each one too. Um, like I mentioned, use them outside as well. But this is these are going to become real favorites in holiday decorating. This is something you're going to feel good about pulling out each year. And nothing involved other than putting two AA batteries in the bottom. No yeah. assembly required. Uh, you'll notice that Santa is kind of gazing upward. Because mm -hmm. if you're sitting these on the ground, uh, even a small child is, is going to stand above them. And it looks like Santa's looking right up at you. Oh, and the blue of his point. eyes is just crystal clear. These are pieces of permanence. I, mm -hmm. I did mention this before, and I apologize for repeating myself. Uh, I grew up just in, at the time that I happened to be a kid. That was kind of the era of the plastic Christmas. That's when they started mm -hmm. making the, the blow molded yeah. Christmas piece. Mm -hmm. We all had that yellow door candle sitting next to our front door that had the 60 watt light bulb in it. It was a yellow candle with a red top to look like a flame. Mm -hmm. And we only had one. They came in a set of two, but one melted because the 60 watt light bulb got too bright, right? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but poly resin, I mean, with a little bit of care, it's much, much more uh, durable than glass could ever dream of being, mm -hmm. unless it were bulletproof glass. Uh, and they hold up to the elements. So these oh, are yeah. going to be the pieces that, although it's brand new today, and you're picking it up for a price tag, again, that's about 40% off of retail, this, this is going to be something that with a little bit of care you'll have in your family, mm. potentially for generations. Yeah, I, I think so. And I think that you're right. It's something that you might want to pass on to your kids or your grandchildren. 
<clears throat> excuse me, it really is one of those pieces. Lots of color too. So if you wanted to put this yeah. under your tree, you could do that, or maybe just as one little decoration in your office desk. You have something great there. Um, as I mentioned too, you can use them outside. You'll see that there's a little, like a little door right here that you can unscrew. Um, you just twist this off. You don't even screw it off. You just twist that off. That's where the batteries go. And there's a six hour timer too. So uh, if you want to just put this outside and it snows or it rains, it's okay to do that. Well, we've got it's this all about wacky. Fun. It's all about beautiful lights. And it's all about, you know, Kringle Express, which is a lot of whimsy. And I love that. I, Sorry, I, Dan. I, no, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, we've got this strange cold snap going on all over the country. Uh, the other day was three, three degrees. That, that will not affect these. Oh. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. If it rains, they stay just as shiny and just as beautiful and just as bright. Oh, yeah. uh, and you don't really notice the lights during the day, but as we dimmed our, our studio lights down, they just kind of come to life. And it's yeah, a know, really cool piece. That snowman has been super popular, Michelle. There's about 150 of the snowman left. And the Santa Claus... I'm doing okay. I've got a few more because uh, okay. I started with about 600. But then the reindeer, and I love Kringle Express's take on the reindeer. They're just smiley and happy. There's <laughs> fewer than yeah. 100 of him. Oh, yeah. How cute. Yeah, and, and the gem lights are great, too. As you mentioned, I love that we started putting lights on everything in the Kringle Express collection. It just adds a little something. And, you know, when they're turned off, they don't look like turned off light bulbs. They look like gems. Yeah. So I, I think that's a wonderful detail in multicolor. When, when you were a kid, anything that lit up was magic. Mm. There's no reason why that shouldn't continue when we're adults mm -hmm. at Christmas time. So I, it was okay. always work to try to find a way to hide whatever cord was there to make things light up. Mm -hmm. So the fact that now they're battery operated is just remarkable and it makes it yeah. fun look at yeah, that beard I, you know i i that is beard goals it really is i mean if i could grow a beard that's what i would want <laughs> this to like. this would be the one you would want yeah I mean, you, you're not picturing me in that beard right <laughs> it's, it's an incredible look at that it's like that beautiful pearlized finish and the cheeks uh you know that little rosy glow too I'm just amazed by the details. They are works of art. And as you know, they start out as artists, sculptor, sculptures, and then we pour the resin and make these molds and hand paint them. So, and they're weighty too. I noticed when you picked up the Santa, you oh, yeah. made just a little grunt right there. <laughs> like it's, it's got some weight to it. You know what I mean? Well, what, again, let's, let's talk about that. And, and I want to embellish on what you said a little bit. This starts with an original mold that's been sculpted. Now that's one thing, you know, how many of you out there collect figurines from whatever manufacturer, whatever company, whatever brand you love? I happen to be a, a huge fan of certain artists like Jim Shore, who's here at QVC. Yes. But, but they do pieces that are this big, that, that sell for prices that are equal to this. The mold here is exponentially bigger and so much more detail. And although it requires so much work, it gives an artist an opportunity to really do what they do, to be able to create yeah. textures and depths. Look at something as simple as the, <laughs> the fold of the fabric at Santa's right. knees. But you yeah. notice that, and it just brings it to life in a way that smaller just wouldn't be able to do. Man, I'm, can I, I'm gonna turn him all the way around. This is the back side of this piece. Yeah, and Dan, you know- Santa we, apparently big. lost a little weight <sighs> because when the he belt. cinched his belt, look, <laughs> it, it pulled the jacket in a little bit. That's I I know. wonderful storytelling as a sculptor. I think these pieces are grand. And just size-wise, they, they are, you know, under 20 inches. Yep. So they're large, but they're not our big, big pieces. So great for the floor, great for tabletop, too. I, I think they're perfect. Now, if you want the Santa, there's about 450 of them remaining forever. Because when these editions sell out, they're, they're just gone. Uh, six dozen of the reindeer are left. 
And then in the snowman, fewer than 100. Michelle, thank you so very, very much. Hey, Dan, happy new year to you.